So in your audience's window, you could, again, you could filter by all of these different attributes, like when the audience was created, et cetera. This is where all your audiences will live. Creating new audiences done through this yellow button up here in the right-hand side. Adding filters to narrow down your audience by custom attributes is done here by adding filters. And you could also export individual audiences by clicking the export button on any one of these audiences and then you'll get a CSV file of just that audience. Just very briefly, I want to um, express the importance of creating these audiences. Any characteristic of your contacts that you think would be a reason to send specific, more personalized, custom, more relevant marketing information through your chatbot flows, it's important to create those audiences. And again, that could be gender, it could be what they're in the market for, it could be how many sessions they've had, it could be the amount of time since they've last engaged with your bot, um, all these different things. And like we've discussed recently, you could also create audiences of specific opt-ins. So people who have downloaded a case study, people who have downloaded um, a different piece of content, people who have uh, opted into your RSS blaster, those audiences will be created and those audiences will live here. And then all the different chatbot flows that you produce will be then attached to a specific audience. And it's just good to keep in mind that that's the structure of Mobile Monkey. You have your audiences section, you have your bot builder sections, and then when you create your lead magnets, that's when you that's when you combine those two. That's when you say this bot flow should be for this audience, this drip should be for this audience, this RSS blaster should be for this audience, so on and so forth. So that's audiences, you guys know how to use it, it's very straightforward.